the NBA and WNBA canceling their slate of games tonight in Orlando. The Atlanta Dream and Washington Mystic arriving to center court, locking arms and spelling out Jacob Blake's name. Blake is the Wisconsin man shot seven times in the back by police. As Ken McLeod reports, the Celtics and the Raptors are considering a boycott of their own. The Celtics aren't here, of course. They're down in the Orlando bubble, where some observers are now wondering if the recently restarted NBA season is in jeopardy. When game time arrived on the court this afternoon, the Milwaukee Bucks did not, deciding to boycott their playoff game against the Magic down in the bubble to protest the police shooting of another black man in their home state of Wisconsin. I think people right now are just at wit's end. And because of that, I think the players are, are showing their frustration. But it quickly became apparent that other teams were wrestling with the same decision, including the Celtics. Using my platform, my voice, uh, to help create conversation and, and change is more important than anything I can do out there. The league quickly postponed all three of today's playoff games while coaches back their players almost across the board. All you hear is Donald Trump and all of them talking about fear. We're the ones getting killed. We're the ones getting shot. After the nationwide protest that followed the killing of George Floyd, NBA players sought and got permission to wear slogans supporting Black Lives Matter on their jerseys. But the wounding of Jacob Blake by Kenosha police on Sunday clearly made many players wonder if anything has really changed. I am so proud of our players that they have a voice and that voice is being heard. Among hoop fans, we heard this. I applaud the fact that they're unified and that they want to make a statement and really drive society to make a change. Uh, they're finally giving attention to what needs to get attention instead of worrying about basketball. And also this. I just think personally they should keep their nose out of politics, you know, political things and stick to sports. L.A. Clippers coach Doc Rivers, however, is buying none of that. It's amazing why we keep loving this country. And this country does not love us back. The NBA says all three of tonight's playoff games will be rescheduled, but did not say when. At the Garden tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.